You know you should never trust an artist. They're shady, they're sketchy, and they always try to frame you. Hey everybody. So today we're gonna to be making color isolation art. We're gonna be using color to emphasize various focal points in our artwork. To do this, we're gonna need a few supplies. First thing we're gonna need is something to draw on. I'm going to be using plain white paper, but if you don't have plain white paper, that's fine. You could use lined notebook paper, you could use uh, construction paper, um, you could probably just draw on your dry erase board if that's what you've got, whatever works. We're gonna need something to draw with. I'm going to be starting with a number two pencil, but if you want to start with marker, that's probably fine. I'm actually gonna be tracing my lines with this to make them show up. If you're using a dry erase board, you're probably gonna use a dry erase marker. You're also going to need something to trace. Um, I'm going to be using a simple wooden block, but you could use a box, you could use a cup, you could use a pair of scissors, anything that has a cool shape. Honestly, the more interesting the shape is, the better your art's gonna look. You're also going to need something to color with. Uh, I'm going to be using a marker. We're only going to use one color today, but you could also use crayons. You could use colored pencils, watercolor, anything you have on hand. Once you gather all your supplies, we can get started. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to put our emphasis. If we imagine that we've divided up this paper into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, we'd end up with something that looks kind of like this. So here we have it divided in one, two, three sections across the vertical and one, two, three sections across the horizontal. Where these lines intersect are the best places to put your emphasis. So we're just gonna pick one of these four spots and we're gonna put whatever we're using to trace with. So I'm gonna stick mine probably right there. And our next step here is to just trace whatever we're using a whole bunch of times, just all over the paper. I'm gonna do one. This is gonna be the one we're gonna use for our emphasis piece. And then we're gonna trace it a whole bunch more all over the paper. We just keep going until we cover the whole paper. So as you can see, I've traced my shape all over this paper. I've also outlined it with some marker to make it stand out a little bit more, but you don't have to do that. I just think it looks cool. Our last step here is to add our accent color, our emphasis color. Uh, we're going to not coloring everything. We're only gonna color in a few of these shapes so that it's a focal point, so it really stands out. So I'm gonna start with the first one I traced. Now I'm just gonna color the whole thing in nice and clean. All over the whole shape. There we go. And I might do a couple of other ones here and there, but I'm really not gonna move far away from this one. And here you see the finished product. I've colored in multiple points on here, just a few of them, and some bright colors to create focal points, to create emphasis. And it really looks a lot better than if I had just colored the whole thing with bright colors. You really have your eye drawn to these spots of color. So now that you've seen how I made my artwork, I want to see yours. Post a picture in our class art gallery.